The Trailblazers are out of Portland and into an interconference game. We've got some terrific NBA action in store for you today. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. They're continuing to soldier on without the services of Goran Dragic. Yeah, and that news, Kevin, means this team faces a tough challenge. The production's going to be missed, and it's not a problem that you can just wave a wand and make go away. This is when everybody on that bench has to really band together. Well, obviously difficult to replace his production. They're not going to do that, but impossible for them to replace his leadership qualities. Now let's send it down to David Aldridge standing by from the sidelines. David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Miami Heat has established that high standard for fitness. Even Eric Spolstra has gotten into it in his late 40s. The Heat coach says when he's working out, I'm in a different place. The physical, emotional, and mental benefits, I'm hooked. Kevin? As hard as he works, great that he takes care of himself, too. D.A., thank you. We've already seen a few players make Brent a big leap over last year. Their hard work is, is really paying off. The interesting thing over the past few years is just how intricate the offseason training is for players. And this is why I think the evolution of the game feels like it's been sped up. So many specialized coaches, so much time that guys want to work on facets of the game that are opening up opportunities. And with so much space that's on the floor for guys, we get to see those skill sets a little bit more often on a nightly basis. Awesome to see that players continue to strive to maximize their potential. I agree. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. At the two, it's McCullough with Turner at the three. Nurkic is out there with Aminu, and it's Lillard in at the point guard. Well, waiters and confidence, they go together pretty well. And Deion Waiters, midway through last season, finally had season-ending surgery on his left ankle. He had been trying to manage that injury since the season prior. Yeah, and he ended up losing out on a bonus of over a million, which was contingent on him playing 70 games. His play had fallen off, though, so quite possible he needed that surgery even before he suffered the setback. Still struggling to find some consistency as an offensive player, but Waiters does get to the free throw line a fair amount for a guy who shoots so many threes. Now here's McCullum. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Waiters. Here's Johnson. And it's Portland with the rebound. Outside Turner to the paint. Here's Nurkic. Tries again. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. And for Yusuf Nurkic, you see the flashes of how dominant he can be in every game. I mean, the potential is there, and he is working hard to find that consistency. I do believe he's noticeably better when he plays with an edge. He's, he's more in tune with what's going on. You, you almost want to rile him up or, or do something to tick him off before Two every shots. game to get the best out of him. Free throw good. Nurkic. Yusuf Nurkic, a free agent this past summer. A lot of big men, Brent, on the market, and he flew under the radar. Well, this team knows maybe how good Nurkic can be because they see him in practice all the time. They're just looking for a little bit more consistency in terms of the effort from him. The next few seasons of his development was really going to be a, a critical part of Nurkic's career. We play just over a minute here in the first. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Good on the triple. Lillard's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Weber kicks to Johnson. It's stolen by Aminu. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession.
First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. Shot from 12. Here's Nurkic. That one, no good. The Heat go the other way with it. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game play. Yeah, they were just pounded on the inside, particularly on that backboard. That was a huge disadvantage for them. Well, the only way to compensate for getting out-rebounded as much as they did is to shoot about 99% mm, from the floor. Haven't seen that happen. And here's Nurkic. After James Johnson was able to get the triple. Count that one. Well, the play from Nurkic was as good as they come. Terrific job getting deep inside there and nailing the shot. And Waiters kicks to Weber. Nurkic with the steal. Waiters against McCollum. Banked in off the glass. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. Deflects the pass. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And while we have a chance, let's take a look at the best free throw shooters in the league from last season. Damian Lillard, third. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Good defensive effort from Lillard there. He has the athleticism to play lockdown deep. Raiders against McCollum. Off target with his three. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Weber dishes to Johnson. Pass to Waiters. Over McCollum. Raiders no luck. You could tell he assumed he'd be able to beat the defensive coverage even though it was all over. McCollum against Waiters. McCollum outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Waiters. Again, McCollum missing. Now, this is a quarter that he would love to forget as soon as possible. Not getting anything to go. Whiteside kicks to Waiters. Got it. Good job in the low post. Waiters got five points so far. A great pass by Whiteside hanging in that play. Aminu with the screen on Weber. And there's the pass to McCollum over Johnson. Johnson with the block. Yeah, his shot just doesn't seem to be synced up right now. Here's hoping he finds it soon because his team is really going to need that production tonight. Here's Lillard. Coming off a stellar performance against Orlando. Pass to Nurkic. McCollum outside. Back to Nurkic. Puts it up from seven. Hits McCollum on the wing. Again, McCollum missing. Trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but thus far, not working. Yeah, I hope it hasn't gone to his head. He may be trying too hard at this point. Now here's Waiters. 17 points for him last game against New York. Kicks it out to Johnson. And that one comes up a bit short. I still love the shot selection. The defense wasn't really a factor. They need to be more aggressive guarding the mid-range. Here's Waiters. And no good that time. Good D by McCollum. Lillard against Weber. Screen by Nurkic. McCollum outside. That's good. A tough shooting night. He's two for eight and looking for more. Well, few have more job security in the NBA than Terry Stotts. Consistently gets a ton out of his Portland Trail Blazer team. They run a very intricate and unique offense now in his seventh year with the Blazers. They've had a lot of success under Coach Stotts. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That's his first foul. Harkless is checked in for Turner. Weber against Lillard. Weber kicks to Johnson. That shot off. 
and the Trailblazers going the other way. And with Terry Stotch last year, there were some rumblings about his job after the sweep. Might have been a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. Remember, Portland slid into that third seed with how close it was in the Western Conference. And that might have added a bit more pressure. But Portland does not have a lot of flexibility with their roster. Somehow, Terry Stotts gets to 50 wins in any given year. Uh, so it might have been a poor decision. And they saw through that. And he's back for this season. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then fouls it up, Greg, with heavy duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. Stolen by Weber. The finish. And then Waiters with the jam. You got to keep track of Waiters here, especially when he starts to leak out like that and wants to attack you early in transition. Screen by Nurkic. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. And it's seven points for C.J. McCollum. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. Yeah, when you fail to get over the top, more than likely that jumper is going to go down. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Well, Damian Lillard, a star in this league for several years now. Whether that's recognized by an all-star appearance or not, it doesn't matter. He has been elite at the point guard position. Uh, just a dynamic scorer one of the more lethal players in the NBA hoping to push Portland further and further at some point in his career. Adebayo's checked in for Whiteside. Kelly Olenek comes in for James Johnson. Winslow's checked in for Richardson. And Ellington is subbed in for Deion Waiters. Portland also making some changes. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Nick Stauskas comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And it's Seth Curry in for Lillard. And with Lillard, he often can be forgotten about just because there are so many great guards in the NBA. Brent, in particular, in the West. Well, let's face it, he just missed out on a couple of seasons of representing the Portland Trailblazers as a guard in the Western Conference because of the loaded Western Conference and how good the guards are. But regardless, uh, there's no denying that, that Lillard is right up there as one of the elites in the league. Trailblazers trail by five. Outside Curry. And it's Leonard top of the key. And Winslow pulls it down. Miami's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Weber gets the bucket. Yeah, there's a good indicator of Winslow and his feel for the game. I like how much he makes a concentrated effort to get the ball right there to the open man. Now here's Curry. A 14-point game for him in the win against Orlando. Here's Aminu, and another three for Portland. A little tit-for-tat action going on on the back-to-back -back trade. Yeah, a little gamesmanship from range could force both defenses to maybe extend out a little further. Here is Ellington, and he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Curry on the wing, guarded by Weber. Leonard with a screen on Weber. This is a two, Leonard. From outside, off the mark. And a really smart defender there. He just reads the play, wastes no time trying to blow it up. And what I like best is that he does it completely under control. Really gives the shooter nowhere to turn to. Here's Curry. The Heat getting the bucket. Aminu, the pass to Leonard. Here's the screen. Here's Stauskas. Ellington defending. Clock is at three. And the first shot of the night for him missing. Olenek dishes to Weber. 
Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Curry kicks to Aminu. Fires the three. Hits it from three-point range. Aminu's got six points. The defense a step slow. And you can see the result. Now Weber. He's got five. Shoots over Curry. That misses off the backboard. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Leonard is a big guy at seven foot one. So when the defense is all over him, he can use his height to overpower people. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot. And Leonard, no good on that one. You love a good mid-range game. We don't see it that much, but I know you have a couple guys who think of a pretty strong mid-range game. You know, Chris Paul still has dominated the mid-range. Kevin, it was interesting because him joining the Houston Rockets, who it's all about threes and layups. Daryl Morey, I think, recognized we need somebody that can come off the pick and roll and make those kind of plays happen. Not only at the rim, but the up and shoot it himself. So Chris Paul still dominates in the mid-range. Kawhi Leonard has shown some skills at the mid-range, even though last year, obviously, just just nine games he's still a dangerous weapon it'll be interesting to see if that's still part of his arsenal for this season and then CJ McCollum has been one of the best mid-range scorers in the league for the Portland Trailblazers over the past couple of seasons all oh, the, the officials are all over that one you see Justice Winslow get into that low defensive stance signals kind of like he did a Duke slap the floor and be ready for a defensive possession No good on the free throw. And Winslow, about 6'7", 225. But Brent, it seems like he plays a lot bigger. Yeah, it does feel like that sometimes. He gets lots of minutes at the power forward position and tries to rebound like a four. And when he gets it, he can rip it down and run it up the court. And the second free throw, good. 144 and left here in the opening quarter. Stauskas kicks to Leonard. Weber against Kurt. Leonard. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, this Heat team is a collection of a hodgepodge of players. Just interesting combinations, guys who can switch all over the floor. But I think they're still trying to find out what their role is. Who's going to end up stepping up to be the scorer that they lean on? And they try to be greater than the sum of their parts under Eric Spolstra. Some nights they are. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And the heat culture, not for everyone certainly, intense practices. A lot of preparation, demanding fitness standards. Uh, there's a lot to digest. Well, uh, Pat Riley is still around, his knee, Kevin. So uh, with that fact, uh, Eric Spolstra doesn't stray too far from what it is that brought Pat Riley a ton of success in Miami in setting up that culture and that sort of work mentality on a daily basis. You've got to be tough, and you've got to be willing to work if you're in Miami. Now here's Winslow. Eight points his last outing. Ellington kicks to Olenek. Pass to Weber. It's stolen by Curry. Olenek with the steal. The feed now to Winslow. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. Here's Stauskas. Ellington defending. Stauskas, the pass to Curry. Here's Aminu. 
off target with his three. And it just hurts to miss shots like this. Mentally, you question yourself, and it can affect your confidence. And listen, if you're seven foot and can shoot threes, there's a place for you in today's NBA. Olenek has that rare combination. Here's Tuskers. The Heat knocking down the tray. Outside Curry. Six to shoot. Here's the three. And it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got his fourth rebound in this one. That pushes it to double digits. And now a 12-point heat lead. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Curry against Weber. Right side Curry. Let's it go from 11. And that one is off. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Heat lead by 12. And will return shortly. Lethal scores in the game. All-star Damian Lillard talks about why confidence is big for him. I like a challenge. Um, I love being here, and I, I feel like, you know, if I have the confidence in myself that I say I have, then we could bring in some guys that uh, can get better, and we can build something uh, from here on out. Um, same thing happened with Golden State. You know, nobody talked about Golden State four years ago. And the Blazers, Greg, disappointed with last year's first-round defeat, but they've assembled some nice talent. And, and like he said, we've seen teams jump into title contention more quickly than expected in the past. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And quite a position here for the Heat to be in. What do you guys think? I mean, through that first quarter, uh, to me, it's all about their D. There's a lot of ways to build a lead. This one's built on stops. Winslow and Olenek fill up the forward spots. Weber is out there with Wayne Ellington. And it's Whiteside in at the center. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Well, Kevin, since the rise of the Warriors, we've seen a fair amount of soul searching by the league's other contenders. There is incredible pressure to shake things up. Now, sometimes it can elevate a team, but we have often seen it also can tear a team apart. It can be fragile for sure. David, thank you so much. Here now is Weber. Myers Leonard picking up that last basket. Right side is screen on Curl. Here's Olinick. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olinick. There's a screen. Stauskas kicks to Harkless. Outside Curry. From outside the arc, a shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And head coach Eric Spolstra always looking for different perspectives, looking to tweak and change certain things and constantly learning. That's a growth mindset. We hear him talk about that a lot. And it's something that he encourages not only his staff to do, but his players as well. Dion Waiters checked in for the Heat. McCollum's checked in for the Trailblazers. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Here's Waiters. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Heat lead by 13. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Leonard with a screen on Waiters. Stolen by Waiters. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Waiters leading the charge. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. And Spolstra assigns assistance to read books, attend clinics, and bring back reports. Always looking for new insights. Yep, lots of paperwork on that Miami Heat coaching staff. They keep daily notes on 
on everything from basketball uh, to the big picture around the team. Stats, quotes, questions, all inspirational stuff. So anything they can draw a competitive advantage on or keep things positive, Spoh's looking to do that. And I like this timeout. You're, you're getting terrible rim protection right now. Well, you got to ask your team to give you a little bit more effort because there's just not a lot of fire on the defensive end. Johnson comes in for Kelly Olenek, and it's Richardson in for Justice Winslow. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Yusuf Nurkic comes in for Leonard, and Lillard subbed in for Curry. Now here's McCollum. He has seven. Three-pointer Lillard. It's hauled in by Richardson. The Heat leading by 15. Here is Ellington. He's got eight. Now the pass to Richardson. And again, Miami with the triple. Richardson's pretty consistent at draining that three ball. The D can't allow him to get too comfortable while he's camped out behind the arc. Raiders against McCollum. Kicks it to Turner. Shot to stop the run. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Lillard's got five points so far. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. Yeah, when you fail to get over the top, more than likely that jumper is going to go down. Now here's Ellington. Got a piece of it. Right side, no good. Trailblazers trail by 16. Here's Turner. And it's Miami with the rebound. Johnson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Wide side, the pass to Richardson, and he gets it to go. Richardson's got five points now in the quarter. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Here's Harkless. It doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Whiteside. Here's Johnson, and misses it off the right side of the rim. The defensive reaction time, it was just immediate on that one. You know, sometimes the most important part of that is the angle that the defender chooses. That time, he chose wisely. Kept alive, Nurkic, and there's the bucket. Staying with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Nurkic has got his second bucket tonight. Waiters with a screen on Lillard. Ellington kicks to Whiteside. Waiters into the lane. Here's McCollum. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Now, here's Richardson. He has five. McCollum, one of the best shooters in the NBA. Any range, Brent, any shot, he can knock it down. Yeah, a little bit of a down year in 18 for Lillard, but the way that he can score and the efficiency with which he can score is just remarkable. I really like to watch the pace he plays with, Kevin. I mean, he, he finds spots on the floor to get to uh, and has that length and, and kind of never sped up sort of mentality on the offensive end. Becomes very, very dangerous. And here is Waiters. Following the three-pointer by C.J. McCollum. Right side sets the pick for Waiters. Four on the clock. Nurkic with the block. Is this basketball or volleyball? Nurkic with the spike. And a wide-open look for McCollum. And the Trailblazers, another three. And he's on a good pace here from three-point range. Made one in the first, two more here in the second. <laughs> it seems like with more to come. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Here's Whiteside. No good off the front iron. The Blazers on offense. They're on a 10-2 run here. The shot by Harkless, no good. The Heat leading by 10. Richardson with it. 
on the wing, Ellington. Right side of screen. Just five to shoot. Jumper off the screen. Count that one. Richardson's got seven points for the quarter. Nice job, Richardson, playing now in the mid-range. That tells me his offensive game is showing confidence. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. And Josh Richardson at the University of Tennessee was a pre-med student. Plans on becoming a surgeon. But when the NBA became a possibility, he said he had to switch to an easier major. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of spending four hours a day studying, he, he put that time into the gym. The uh, terrific defender in college was the two-time All-SEC defensive player. And with the newfound focus on basketball, he has blossomed as a sport. Bam Adebayo is checked in for Whiteside. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Turner inside. Richardson cover. That's good. And the Heat lead is cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Turner. This is where Turner impresses you with his strength, able to take a little bit of a hit before finishing. Johnson the screen. Raiders against McCollum. Shot clock at six. There's the pick. Goes up to the stripe. Raiders no luck. And he's getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. A heat leading by 10. Waiters on the wing. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Waiters got five points now in the quarter. Well, Waiters has a role on this team, and tonight he's on a roll. Big-time scoring effort. It's just been an off night for him. That doesn't happen all that often. But the thing that you do at this point is not to push it, not to rush it. Let it come back to you. Briante Weber, he's checked in for Wayne Ellington. And a switch here also for Portland. Stauskas is checked in for Turner. Pass to Johnson. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Josh Richardson, the 40th overall pick, Brent, back in 2015, a hardworking young player who's had a lot of good veteran mentors in this Miami Heat locker room. Yeah, and he took advantage not only of what Dwayne Wade said to him, but the time that Dwayne Wade wasn't playing, he stepped in and seized an opportunity to get those minutes. He's had some scorching hot shooting numbers, too. His rookie year was phenomenal, and it came in and drew attention from guys from the three-point line, so looking to be consistent on that end. And the first one drops. I really like how James Johnson plays his role. So expanded here within the team set. Knows he's out there to space the floor, bring some physicality, and is going to have some opportunities to make some plays with the ball in his hands. That one is no good. Well, it's not a secret that the strength of this ball club is in the backcourt. Damian Lillard, C.J. McCollum, these are one of the better pairings in the league in terms of their scoring, playmaking, uh, and devastation that they can provide on the offensive end. Unfortunately, it has not gotten them to the point where they've gotten enough complementary players uh, to go as far as they would like in the postseason. And as great as the backcourt is for the Blazers, Brent, they know they need to add more. Yeah, Evan Turner himself has said that we need more than just Dame and CJ, and the team has lacked a third scoring option for quite some time. Well, the general manager said the roster's a work in progress, so we'll see if they can make some kind of changes to put them over the hump. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. Brent, as we take a look at lineups around the NBA, teams trying to go with five highly skilled players at once. Where does that leave the traditional big? 
Well, most teams just don't have one now, yeah. Kevin. I mean, they're just not on they're the roster. They're hard to find, yeah. Well, they're hard to find, but there just aren't many out there. So a lot of teams just elect not to, to have one. And what we're seeing over the course of the last couple of years is the matchups when all of a sudden a white side is going to see a Drummond or uh, you're going to see all of a sudden Valanchunas play against DeAndre Jordan. It's usually because you have one, we'll play ours kind of mentality. Here's Adebayo following the score by Damian Lillard. Can't get it to fall and he's missed the second after making his first. Nurkic in the post. Johnson's there. Nurkic can't hit. The Heat leading by 10. Let's a floater go. And McCollum with the block. Fires high post. Aminu misses. Miami's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third foul, and his coach has to consider now sitting him down. And Bam Adebayo, the 14th overall pick in 2017 out of Kentucky. Yeah, his name seems to be pretty fitting, right? Like setting screens. Bam. Getting a dunk. Bam. Tremendous athlete, and he can throw it down with some of the best power forwards in the game. And he knocks down the first one. And the Heat with some changes. Kelly Olenek checked in for Johnson. And Winslow subbed in for Richardson. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. Curry comes in for Lillard. And he makes both free throws. Well, Brent, the Heat with an experienced front office and, and one of the best young coaches in the league in Eric Spolster. Yeah, Spo has done a remarkable job. Tremendous amount of respect around the league for the way that Eric Spolster goes about his business, the way he handled the title runs and, and all those personalities and those dynamics. He has been fantastic and will coach in Miami for as long as he wants to. The way he goes about it is pride, work, and respect for anybody that walks through those locker room doors. McCollum right side. Olenek with the steal. And here's Weber. Five points in the game. Winslow the pass to Olenek. Here's the screen. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Autobahn. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Now here's Curry. McCollum outside over Waiters. McCollum no good. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Here's Aminu. An 11-point game for him in the win against Orlando. And he also looked to attack at the defensive end of the floor. Three steals in that game. Portland no good that time either. That's a great effort on defense. He definitely rushed his shot a little bit down low. Leonard with the steal. And here comes Leonard leading the fast break. Here's Aminu. Rebound by the Heat. They led by as many as 18 points. They owes the Kings after this game. And that game closes out the four-game homestand for him. Trailblazers trail by 14. There's 47 seconds left in the first half. And a miss there on the triple. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Now, here is Weber. Five points in the game. McCollum against Waiters. Olenek, a screen on McCollum. He used that pick just right. 17 points for Dion Waiters. Well, a little bit of help there from his friends. Waiters does a good job of rubbing his man off of that screen. Now here's McCollum. A 38-point game for him in the win against the Magic in Orlando. Over Waiters. And it doesn't even draw iron. 
And so it's the Miami Heat feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. And thanks to their outstanding defense, the impact Damian Lillard has had on this game has been minimal. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson sitting alongside the Diesel and the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. So it's Miami who's out on top at the half. They are way out in front, leading by 17. Kenny, some perspective, please. There's been one thing that's made a difference in this game above all else. Their control of the backboard. They put forth an amazing effort on the glass, and the rebounding numbers aren't even close, Ernie. That'll be something to keep an eye on in the second half. They will be very tough to contain if that continues. Looking at Portland, Shaq, your thoughts. Well, first of all, as cold as they've been from the floor, I can't say I'm surprised by the score. You cannot shoot the ball that poorly and expect to be in the game, Ernie. They need better ball movement. If their offense stays this stagnant, they can forget about a comeback. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? Well, we're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. It's been one outstanding game from Dion Waiters. Yeah, on the cut, off the dribble, he is a factor, and we saw that in the first half. Coaches talk about having slashers on the team, and this is what they do. They get into the heart of the defense. They force difficult rotations. He's been tough to contain. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. We've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up for the second half. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. Lillard and McCullum, the deadly backcourt pairing. Turner is out there with Aminu. And it's Nurkic in at the center, filling out the middle. Now here's McCullum. Fires the three. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Waiters. Aminu over to help. And Al Farouk Aminu gets the whistle that time. That's his fourth foul of the contest. White side kicks to Richardson. Johnson outside. You're always going to hear about Aminu's defense first. Quick and physical. Loves to get up and challenge shooters. And it's Lillard missing. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. McCollum against Waiters. Misses off the left iron. Oh, you just relish those kind of opportunities. And the defense got lucky, but they need to guard that area of the floor a little bit better. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. So it's Miami now after the Trailblazers pick up two. Weber a screen and Waiters kicks to Johnson. Over Aminu. And again, it's the Heat missing. And lots of credit for the team around him. They're picking up the slack here tonight. He just can't buy a bucket right now. Well, the defense looked lost there. Get out your compass. No excuses. You got to guard the perimeter. And now Portland on the break. Here's Lillard and Damian Lillard with the jam. You know, not many guys can change pace on the dribble the way Lillard does it. Just phenomenal. Inside, it's tipped. Pass to Richardson. Right side sets the bit for Richardson. Another shot. Portland grabs the miss. Norkic has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Aminu. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Well, he leading by 10. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, Hassan Whiteside continues to develop. Now, Miami coach Eric Spolstra said it's got nothing to do with his stats. He's going to do that no matter what. 
It's about making winning plays and caring more about his teammates than he cares about himself. Now he can lead in a different way because he has the respect of the locker room. Kevin? Terrific DA, thank you. To the inside, it's stolen by Aminu. Alert against Weber. Let's the three fly. That's in, and the Miami lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Damian Lillard. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And the Heat call time here. And they let things get out of hand. Good time to reconvene. They're just on the wrong end right now of a big run, and they need to plan how they're going to shift the momentum of the game. change here. Ellington's checked in and the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Harkless has checked in. Nurkic with the steal. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It goes on Dion Waiters. And a nice job Evan Turner slowing down drawing the body contact and now finding a chance for the end one. Well, Evan Turner the former number two pick out of Ohio State is it a very good ball handler and he plays kind of in that mid range game to, to look for space not only to score but to set up teammates and I think uh, coaching staff loves to have him play that point forward position to dictate some of the offense and take the load off the guards. And with Turner, he has underachieved Brent as far as where he was taken in the draft, but he offers a lot of unique skills to a team. And the biggest drawback is Evan Turner at his size. You'd want him to shoot the three-point ball with a little bit more consistency. So I know he plays in the box a bit, and he likes to play in the mid-range game, but there are some things offensively, I think, that he can do to take advantage of some mismatches and, uh, and put some points on the board. And Portland has possession. Heat knocking down the tray. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Trying to break that ice-cold streak. That's tipped, and he gets it back. The defense was in the area, but not really effective. He has to put away this layup. Down low. A second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. Turner's got eight here in the quarter. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Cullen passes it to Nurkic. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Yes. Nurkic has got eight points. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Ellington with it. Picked up by Turner. Side a screen. Right side a screen on McCollum. Waiters. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. Waiters got 19 points. And that bucket should stop the bleeding. And Lillard kicks to Nurkic. They set the screen. And here's McCollum for three. A rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage he put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second. Yeah, it's seven foot one, and with the type of length that Whiteside has in terms of his vertical reach, so hard to stop on the inside. Nurkic setting the pick for Turner. And again, it's Portland converting. Love to see the resolve from an offensive player after a disappointing first half. He's been terrific here in the second. Johnson outside. Raiders against McCollum. Shot clock at six. The Heat need to get a shot off. Turner with the steal. Pass break. Here come the Trailblazers. McCollum with the ball. Here's Harkless from down in the low post. It goes. Tremendous effort. He will not be denied on the offensive glass. Ellington, the pass to Whiteside. Back to Ellington. And now Portland on the break. Here's McCollum. Connects on the 17-footer. 
Now just a one point heat lead. Yeah we've seen highlights of the deep threes and we know he can get to the rim but McCollum's mid range game well that's something special impressive there. Now here's Richardson. He has seven. Here's Johnson. It's tipped and he recovers it. And it's Portland with the rebound. Harkless has got three rebounds so far in the game. It has to be frustrated out there right now. His teammates are really picking up the slack for a lackluster offensive night. Now here's Waiters following the miss by C.J. McCollum. It's Richardson on the wing. Turner covering. And it's sent back by Turner. And here again, the Trailblazers in transition. Up the court they go. The shot by Harkless, no good. Miami's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Johnson with a screen on Turner. Richardson kicks to Ellington. Here's Whiteside. Kicks it out to Richardson. Traps in the tray. Richardson's got 10 points in the game. A good sense right there of Richardson understanding space and that he could get there. Nice pull up. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. And this is their first time matched up with this year's Heat team. Yeah, and they took both games they played against this club last season. And the Heat with some changes. Pam Adebayo is checked in for Whiteside. Kelly Olynyk comes in for James Johnson. And it's Justin Winslow in for Richardson. Portland also making some changes. Leonard, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Stauskas comes in for Turner. And it's Seth Curry in for McCullough. Obviously, Damian Lillard is the type of player who can carry an offense, ball in his hands at all times, and he can pick and choose where it is that he wants to spot up on the floor, manipulate a pick and roll, and just start to get devastating in terms of getting to the rim and mixing up some coverages for the defense. The free throw drops for Lillard. And with Lillard, as you said, almost 20 shots a game for him the past few seasons. Well, that's near the top of the list amongst point guards and, and usage rate, but uh, I don't think Damian Lillard minds it all that much. A lot of his shots are three-pointers, and a lot of those threes are pretty deep, Kevin. You couple that shooting ability with the ability he has to create, and uh, the offense starts to, to find its way into a good rhythm. The Blazers known for their explosive offense, but Brent, their defense became one of the stronger in the league. Yeah, I think that's what propelled them to the third seed. Top five last season in a lot of defensive metrics. Great rebounders and a good job of challenging shots. They play in a, a bit of a, a drop position where they're always protecting the paint and not overextending themselves. It's been successful for the coaching staff. Here's Lillard after the heat pickup, too. It's over Ellington and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Well, sometimes you got to take a picture and understand what the defense is giving up, and Lillard took advantage there. There's a good screen. Olenek the pass to Waiters. Rebound by Stauskas. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. Curry against Waiters. Curry dishes to Leonard for the tie, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That went on a Leonard. One of the better free throw shooting bigs in the NBA. The challenge for Leonard as he develops is to try to get to the line a few more times. The Trailblazers have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. First one drops. Briante Weber. He's checked in for the Heat. Al Farouk Aminu. He's checked in for Portland. That 
one drops he ties it up looking comfortable there from the line knows he needs to come through for his team at the charity stripe Weber kicks Joel in it in the corner Winslow with it the pass to Ellington here now is Weber he's covered by Aminu out of bounds Portland takes possession and checking out the stats for Lillard great showing for him last season he put up about 27 points a game six assists and four rebounds they're loving how he's running the show here his sensational passing really breathing light into their offense something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he is in the game a great conduit for them offensively he knows where everyone is at all times you got to be a, a little bit questioning of the defense because I'm sure they feel foolish for giving that guy that look. They survived it. Now, here is Weber. He's got five. Back to Olenek. There's the triple. Good, and Weber gets the assist. Weber's got three assists now in this one. Now, right now, they're winning because of him. Love the shots that he's taking, and he's got the green light. Here's Lillard. It's a three-point game. They set the screen. Leonard sets a screen for Harkless. Curry passes to Lillard. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Here's Autobio. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Harkless kicks to Curry. Back to Harkless. To Lillard. Aminu with a screen for Lillard. Portland, no good that time either. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Freeze him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Oh, man, he'd love to have that one back. He just does everything right, but doesn't get the finish. Now here's Winslow. And Curry pulls it down. We've got 108 left in the third. To the middle here's Leonard he can't get that one and Miami the other way now they led by as many as 18 points Winslow the pass to Autobio shoots over Leonard misses the baby hook uh, the defense not, not so good and when you're deep inside like that you, you got to come through count that one Leonard's got four points now in the quarter well passing is something he does very well especially when it comes to leading his man to the right spot now, here is Weber. He has five. There's 31 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Olenek. Aminu grabs the miss. Aminu's got seven rebounds in the game. Down low. Good D by Weber. Inside, Adebayo. That one goes in. Autobio's got 11. That's some good interior passing, and that's how you move it on the inside. Lillard outside. From outside, off the mark. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Miami ahead, up by five. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. Richardson and Winslow out on the perimeter. Kelly Olenek is out there with Adebayo. And it's Weber in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Miami. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, a lot to love about the Blazers' 2017-18 season, but it ended on a very sour note. Well, they were a surprise third team in the West last year. It was so tightly grouped. Uh, things shook out for Portland to end up with home court 
advantage, but eventually swept out of the playoffs by a Pelican oh, team Two that shots. just played at breakneck speed. So getting swept was really hard for the Blazers. They did a lot of good things last year, developed Zach Collins in the later part of the season. But we'll see this year if they make some changes in order to have something more dynamic that they can offer up. And he sinks the second. And the Heat committing a lot of money for this hard-working bunch. Brent, how do they improve from this point on? Now it's about player development, Kevin, taking advantage of the offseason, making sure the guys are improving upon their weaknesses and staying sharp with their strengths. We're going to have to find a few more diamonds in the rough out there to add to this roster and maybe set themselves up in free agency to lure somebody down to South Beach. And uh, we'll see if they can do that. The front office tends to get creative in that way. Well, this, this Heat organization has had such a great run of success under their owner, Mickey Arison, and what Pat Riley has done to uh, pour the foundation of the culture around Miami. This is not a team that likes to throw away Shoot any two. chance to compete or any season for that matter. That one is off. And memories of the big three era of Bosch and Wade and LeBron James still fresh Brent in the memory of the Heat organization. Well more fresh in the memory of the the fans of the Miami Heat the organization trying to do their best to to move forward and move on. Of course that team four straight finals appearances won two NBA championships. They want to get back to that level. They know they got to find some talent and some diamonds in the rough and trying to figure out a path to get there. Got that one up quick. Lillard's got 19 points. Now the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Now here's Olenek. There's the pick. A three. Good, and Weber gets the assist. Weber's got four assists now tonight. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equal his total from before the break. Curry on the wing. Off the pick. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Uh, Lillard becoming better at staying patient, knowing that at any point in a possession, he can take advantage of somebody. That time, he found the open man. Now, here is Weber. And the foul called on Myers Leonard. That's his first foul. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Turner's checked in. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Richardson against Curry. Richardson, good. Just a tiny bit of room there for Josh Richardson. Once the screen gives him that, it's golden. Curry against Richardson and Damian Lillard with the jam. And maybe that'll trigger them impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Havoc. Now here's Winslow. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Turner. Yeah, the defender all over. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. The last season, a strong one for the Portland Trail Blazers, actually came out on top of the Northwest Division. Yep, snuck all the way up to that third seed with the tight grouping in the Western Conference. And four teams in the division made the playoffs last year. Five were in the race. Certainly was one of the toughest divisions in the league, and the Blazers ended up on top. Both shots good from the strike. So for the Trail Blazers, their last game, a win against the Magic. Screen by Nurkic. 
And there's the foul. It'll go on Briante Weber. That's his first foul. James Johnson checked in for a limit. tipped and the ball goes out of bounds last touch by Johnson just active defensively here being extremely disruptive like the aggressiveness and a great effort just to get a hand on it fourth quarter of play and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now that's just a solid screen from the big fella Nurkic there which ultimately frees up some space for the shot Weber dishes to Winslow Back to Weber. Fires for three. Rebounded by McCollum. McCollum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Richardson, no luck. Trail Blazers trail by five. Curry kicks to Aminu. And Portland again with the bucket. How about Aminu showing some touch from the mid-range? The D has to tee him up a little bit better. Passes it to Richardson. Weber a screen. Pass to Winslow. Johnson right side. Pocket six inside. Richardson. It's good with the assist that time from Johnson. Richardson's got four this quarter. Well, Richardson came in shooting threes and thought that might be the only thing he could do. He's no one trick pony. Screen by Nurkic. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Remember back in 2016, James Johnson signed a make good contract with the Heat. He's transformed his body going from about 274 to under 240. And in the following season, they rewarded him with a four year, $60 million deal. throw good Nurkic and for James Johnson losing all that weight seems to have unlocked his versatile uh, high energy game Greg yeah and this lower weight Kevin this guy's a wall of muscle you, you combine that with the greater mobility and now he possesses an athletic advantage most every night he takes the floor and both free throws good for Nurkic Miami leading by three to the paint. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Feeds it to McCollum. Stolen by Waiters. To the middle. Johnson's shot is off. He's been a little bit disappointing in this game. However, his team has his back. They need a little bit more help from him. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Yeah, being down two points instead of one thanks to the free throw miss makes getting a stop here absolutely critical. The dish to Waiters. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. 21 points for Dion Waiters. Now you want to at least honor the mid-range shot. You know that Dion Waiters is hungry to score, but he is capable of heating up. And it's the heat on the break. Weber, the pass to Richardson. And good that time. Now it's a six-point heat lead. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim, unabated, in stride. Screen by Nurkic. Turner off the screen. And it's Miami with the rebound. 
Whiteside's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Richardson gets a wide open look. Hits it from three point range. Richardson's got 12 points here in the second half. Trailblazers trail by nine. Outside Curry. Screen by Nurkic. Here's McCollum. And that time, also a missed shot. And this has been an outstanding display on the boards, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. Now, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Deion Waiters, Brent, with the game that evokes a lot of different opinions. Well, count the Miami Heat in that group. They, they've seen the potential. They rewarded him for that potential. Now we just got to see him on the floor on a consistent basis. Shooting two. Free throw, good waiters. And both free throws good for waiters. Trail Blazers trail by 11. Nurkic a screen on Waiters. Aminu the pass to Nurkic. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Aminu has some all around abilities and I like to see him get going on offense. And Waiters kicks to Richardson. And the pass to Johnson. Sinks the triple. And the Heat lead by 12. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from distance. No question, it looks like they've rented out room along the perimeter in this ball game, and they're likely to keep doing this until the defense makes an adjustment. Now, here's Curry. To the left side wing. Clock at four. Near the three-point line, it's McCollum. No good that time. Excellent D there from Waiters. Right side, this is to Weber. And there's the call on Curry. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Dion Waiter. Well, CJ, one of those exemplary players that two. stayed all four years at Lehigh and then came into the league very, very polished and, and very ready uh, for everything that the league was going to throw at him. Not just the defenses on the court, but the NBA lifestyle in general. And he learned to be a great leader here in Portland alongside Damian Lillard. That free throw, no good. And for McCollum, rare does someone who stayed all four years end up being such a star at the NBA level. Well, McCollum's done just such a great job of improving his game, even after coming into the league so polished. And, and how fortunate for Portland in the wake of losing one of their all-time greats in LaMarcus Aldridge to fill some of that scoring gap with a talented player like C.J. McCollum. Now, here's Aminu. A three from McCollum and another three for Portland. And they're showing much more focus here in the second half. More effort as well. And their offense starting to show signs of life. Weber against Curry. Weber the pass to Waiters. He kicks to Richardson. Fires at the elbow. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And here's the upcoming schedule now for the Miami Heat. On Monday, it'll be the Sacramento Kings coming into town. Then on Tuesday, they'll tip off a road trip in Charlotte where they'll take on the Hornets. Now Weber kicks it to Waiters. Pass to Johnson. Let's it go from 11, and the rebound by Nurkic. Pretty surprised he missed that shot. The defense was decent, but not really factored. McCollum, no good. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. And, folks, he does more than just put two points 
onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. That always energizes your teammates. They feel your imagination, get motivated, and helps you extend your lead as well. Miami leading by 12. Here's Waiters. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by McCollum. The feed now to Kerr. Stolen by Weber. Right side, inside. He's guarded by Nurkic. Right side, no good. It's Curry outside. Sinks the three-pointer. Curry's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Trailblazers. McCollum against Waiters. The seven-footer falls. Waiters got nine points now in just the second half. The Trailblazers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. They set the pick. Nurkic kicks to McCullough. And another three for Portland. And after an abysmal first half from the field, that's now starting to fall. Weber, the pass to Johnson. Weber is screen. Johnson against Aminu. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. James Johnson. Two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Johnson. Lillard's checked in for Portland. And both free throws good for Johnson. Here's Lillard. They're going to have to make a pretty big comeback here. I think it's to be a mistake to let the shot clock in under 10 seconds from here on out. Now a timeout called by Portland. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here. And not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups. Sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Deion Waiters. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. And they were in danger of losing back-to-back -back games before he stepped to the forefront here tonight. This was not a game he was going to let get away from him. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Well, I was able to listen in on what Terry Stotts went over with his team. He warned them they've got to get back in transition. He said they've given up way too many fast break points, and he said we have to slow the pace of the game down and force them into taking some tough shots. Kevin? McCollum. It's hauled in by the Heat. Here's Richardson. Great D that time from Nurkic. Trailblazers trail by 10. Aminu, the pass to Lillard. And Damian Lillard with the jam. Lillard just plays with great confidence, really feeling it here and looking to find any scoring opportunity in this one. Raiders against McCollum. Now here's Waiters. Defense right on him. Here's Whiteside. No good. Shot missing. Good work defensively by Turner. Pass to Nurkic. And finished off by Nurkic. It's an unselfish play. Evan Turner with eyes up and delivers. Raheem leading by six. Raiders with the ball. Pass to Johnson. It's stolen by Aminu. A three from McCollum. Cruels it from outside. McCollum's got 11 points in the quarter. Oh, man, the DNA test comes back, and there is a clutch gene. McCollum with the confidence to deliver. 
Rodgers against McCollum. And McCollum with the block. There's the pass to Aminu. And too long on the shot. Richardson kicks to Johnson. Over Aminu. Out of bounds. Portland takes possession. Absolutely critical chance right here. They need this one to go their way. Lillard from outside. Count it! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? And the Heat call time here. Seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pass to Weber. Back to Waiters. He kicks it to Whiteside. That one's off. Still out of sync. And you got to give him credit there. Great effort to contest that shot. Well, I love the fact that they put the security system on their house, protecting the paint there. Now a timeout called by Miami. So we are headed to overtime. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. competition we're seeing so far after regulation the stalemate and we'll see now how these two teams and these few minutes of basketball pan out and so the tip off it's Miami and away we go here with post regulation basketball courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime on the floor for Miami. Down low, it's Johnson and Whiteside. Deion Waiters is out there with Weber, and it's Richardson in at the small forward position. Now here's Lillard. They now take the lead. Lillard's got the first points here in the overtime period for the Trailblazers. McCollum against Waiters. Passes it to Richardson. Shoots over Turner. And, no luck. and that's really a function of the offense not working as it should. Yeah, maybe lazy play calling or just going through the motions on that possession. This often leads to a bad shot. Offensive rebound. McCollum no good. Miami trailing. The shot. And there's Richardson. That's good on the assist by Johnson. Richardson's got 21 in the game. Well, rising up on the Jay Richardson. Good timing on the pull up that time. Here's McCollum. Off the left rim and out. Stolen by McCollum. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. McCollum's got 33. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Hitters against McCollum. Scooped up. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Waiters got it all tied up now for Miami. 
Trailblazers have gotten off to a little bit of a slow start from the field in overtime. Just two of six so far. And the foul called on Hassan Whiteside. And that'll be his third foul so far. Here's Turner from 17 feet out. Well, there's no vacancy down there. Josh Richardson gives no room to the offensive player. And he uses the glass on the way up. 23 points in the game. Well, Richardson is a capable scorer, but nothing feels better than shots like that. Weber against Lillard. McCollum outside. Six on the shot clock to the inside. Here's Nurkic. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Clutch bucket by Nurkic on that possession. They needed that one. The Heat have gone three for five for their shot since we got started here in overtime. Weber, the pass to Whiteside. Johnson, and then Johnson with the jam. Man, that's why James Johnson's out there. An experienced vet stepping up big time. Nurkic kicks to McCullough. Screen by Nurkic. Here's the double team from Whiteson. And stolen by Richardson. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. And then Waiters with the jam. Yeah, he's a confident scorer. Waiters is not deterred by the big moment. Trailblazers trail by four. Lillard on top. Guarded by Weber. Lillard the pass to turn. Starting by Nurkic. Turner off the screen and misses it off the right side of the rim. This is when you're just surprised that a guy would miss that kind of look. The defense really did not do a lot there. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. One shot. Free throw, good white side. You think about Hassan Whiteside's road to where he is now, a second round pick. He spent some time in the D League, now the G League. And it's great to see him turn his career around. You just wonder how hungry is he to maximize his talent in the years to come. And that is what you need in big moments. Lillard's a strong leader with competitive drive. Bingo. Double by McCullough. Raiders against McCullough. Shoots off the screen. Whiteside. And Whiteside stays right with it. Whiteside's got five points now in the quarter. And this is why they have him as their star player. Whiteside with the ability to step up in the clutch. Weber dishes to Richardson. Here's Whiteside. Got it. Good job in the left post. And the Heat lead by eight. Yeah, he is sneaky at the rim. Lays it in against heavy pressure. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're trailing by eight. There's 48 seconds left in overtime. Corner, Lillard. That one doesn't drop. And it's Miami the other way. Johnson outside. Puts up a three. Hits the three-point pop. And now it's an 11-point heat lead. Running up the score. Showing no mercy. Well, you want to close the door on any type of comeback effort. This has been a vault. ka -ching. You're right. And they've been a different team here in overtime. They just seem to have lost their energy. Tremendous effort. I mean, this guy has already cracked double digits on the backboard. So rooting out guys for his position and then outworking them. So you add fundamentals with the effort. Leader by example. Now, here is Weber. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. They escaped with a victory, although they needed an extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams 
I felt like gave it their all. But when it came to OT, it, it was just all about sheer determination on their part. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.